wanted to talk about yesterday, I thought, where's Brad Tucker? <laughs> was SpaceX, because we saw the launch, yeah. it went up, it came down. Elon Musk's tweet was basically saying, oh, it's done this flip manoeuvre, everything's great. Well, there was a heck of an explosion <laughs> Look, when it landed. If you're going to blow a rocket up, do it right, right? You know, don't, don't half, you know, blow it up. And look, they're calling it mostly a success. So here it is going up. Yeah, that's right. Still. So, so they did reach 14 kilometers. So their previous launches had only reached about 500 feet. Right. Um, so, you know, they wanted to get quite high because what they really wanted here it to is do coming down. is test the landing. Bang. Which, bang. And, you know, what we didn't fully see all the way there is as they were coming down, they did this kind of glider maneuver right. where they come in at this angle and it sort of flips over that's right yeah because what they're trying to do is this they is, said they had flap control or something yeah that, that's it? right because yeah. this is different from their current rocket so falcon 9 just goes up never really leaves the earth and just comes back down and lands right this is supposed to leave all the way to earth landing on places like the moon and mars right so they need to, to see this how is they it descend. Here. exactly so you can clearly see here they kind of flip a little bit so too that, much that flip was right. It went a bit too far. But, 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 as then, it, but then they're coming down too fast. Too fast. And so that after bur that burner that goes on was yeah. meant to make them sort of... So kind of softly land and to but kiss it, the ground. What almost. was wrong? They, had, they haven't programmed the burner to be yeah, high enough probably to... They, maybe their angle wasn't right, so they didn't slow down enough when they got to that right. kicking on speed, which is probably the case because we saw that flinging around. You know, yeah. So that probably means... They're too fast. That was the first time they attempted it. Right. So we'll see it. You know, this is called SN8 because the first seven ones have also exploded yeah. at different... So here it goes again here. That's right. So, but, okay, so you're sitting in control because I saw Elon Musk was saying, hey, this is great. We did the flip The flip maneuver. That's right. And yeah. other people were going, oh, you get hard landings at this time. That's were right. Which, and this is a hard landing. It's a very a hard landing. <laughs> if you're sitting in control there, are you going, oh, she's going to blow or do you hope that it's... I mean, would that have surprised people when it exploded that much? Pro to be honest, probably not, because what this is showing is they probably have too much fuel on board. Right. They could tell that they're hitting too fast of a speed, and they also have measurements of, like, what the pressure is. It's just kind of like on your dashboard. Right. They have gauges they're monitoring. That's right. Uh, Low during landing burn, touchdown velocity be high. What's yeah. RUD? Uh, so essentially uh, the, the rudders of what they're doing with the, right. the spinning. So okay. essentially too high velocity, too much spinning, too low pressure. It's a combination of explosion. All they right. will learn from it. Uh, this isn't this isn't a setback, I guess, to them. Okay. What they really wanted to test was th quite a few things went well. That's right. The image of this huge explosion wasn't the whole story. No, that's right. It's not All the right. whole story. What would have been worse if they exploded on takeoff, right? Because okay. they never would have gotten that data coming down, and that would have been a failure. So now they learn about the landing next time. They know to hit the brakes sooner. Unmanned, we should mention That's as well, right. no, just in case hurt. anyone was wondering. Yes. Uh, the Japanese capsule we spoke about, it has landed in Australia. That's right. I assume this went a bit smoother. Yes, this was, was almost textbook for something that has never really been done like this. Uh, Hayabusa 2, as he said, we talked about, uh, made its landing successfully uh, over the skies of Woomera in South Australia early in the morning hours on Sunday morning. So this is a sort of grainy image. What's happening here? So this is the actual capsule coming down and re-entering. So right. what you're seeing is... The burning up re-entry of the capsule. It kind uh, of looked like a meteorite coming down. Yeah, exactly. Something. Well, that's essentially all it is, is, yeah. a, is a human controlled meteor. So that tail behind is something that is burning. Th that's up the, the, the friction burning off of yeah. it. So this is actually just a little capsule that's been left behind. The rest of the probe stayed in space. Uh, this capsule landed. The teams went down uh, and got to the uh, landing site uh, in Wumra, recovered it perfectly. It's actually already now back in Japan. Uh, in the corner. Okay. Yeah, right. so they were pretty quick. They've, They've got, got the rocks. They, so, Do we get to keep a couple of the rocks? Well, so what will happen is they haven't opened it up. They will, they're will. they waiting for a quarantine process. Um, uh, not from COVID, actually, but from us contaminating the samples inside. Right. Um, they will weigh the samples, and then some of them actually come back to here to Canberra and will be studied in detail. Am I right? When they first brought things from the moon and so on, they were worried about yes. new diseases they bring to Earth. So they used to worry about quarantining potential germs. Is that not done with anything anymore? Is that so, so on the moon, no, so you're right. So the Apollo astronauts were locked away for three weeks after they landed because of moon bugs. We, we didn't know anything. And then we realized the moon was pretty sterile. There was nothing there. Uh, they, this asteroid's different. We know it has water and potentially organic compounds. So there was a worry that there could be something there. So there was actually worry of contamination both ways, us contaminating it right. and it contaminating us. Just finally, the Geminid, Gemini, Geminids. You, you, can, you always correct me, um, <laughs> Meteor Shower, it's peaking Sunday night into Monday. This is a free light show, you reckon? Look, it's a free light show for all of Australia and what better thing to kind of end on, I think, than this pretty 
a horrible, horrendous year with a great light show. It's visible all across Australia from about 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. in the early morning hours of Monday morning. All right. Well, we'll tune in. Look just up look if up. you're awake. You just, just look, look up. up. Clear gar if you have a clear view to the north, uh, you should be able to see uh, upwards of one to two uh, per minute. So literally like a shooting star every one or two minutes. So really an actual really cool show. Brad Tucker, thank you as always. Take care.